Hey guys, welcome back. Comment Jonah at 21 here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the United Dash 8 200 made by uh, Bombardier, and uh, this like uh, model is made by Gemini Jets, but the plane itself is made by Bombardier. So yeah, I, th I hope you get that. <laughs> So yeah, uh, before we get started, I wanted to talk about a couple things. So, uh, I have not posted any videos for a very long time, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, I've been v very busy with and the school and lots of other stuff. Like f our family has came out because I just got uh, off school like two weeks ago, I think. So yeah, another thing I want to talk about. Some people in the comments have been asking if uh, we could, I could do a giveaway. Uh, I'm sorry, but I can't do a giveaway yet because I just started collecting these planes and I don't really, I can't. And I want to get, because uh, I only have, uh, let's see, I only have five planes right now. So I'd like to get my a collection of planes and then maybe I can start doing giveaways and I'd also like to get more subscribers. So, um, I think that is it. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so first we are gonna start off by looking at the box. And in the intro, I'm sorry, but I said um, Bombardier, it's actually Bombardier. The people who make it, not Gemini Jets, but the real company name who makes these planes, it's Bombardier, not Bombardier. I don't know why I said it. I must have just, I don't know. All right, so first let's start off by looking at the box. So right here, you can see that it has uh, some information about it. it. Has rolling tires and you can read that. So yeah, front, that looks pretty nice. Has a uh, one four inch scale die cast model aircraft down here. It has a picture of the plane the name of the plane, uh, what airline, and then Gemini Jets up here, made for collectors by collectors. So yeah, let's look at this side of the box. Again, it has the plane right here, Gemini Jets, Bombardier, Bombardier, wait, Bombardier, there we go, I got it right. And then one for a die cast scale model, and then whatever, the item number. And then Gemini Jets, barcode, and then the adult collectible model and contains small parts and then same thing on this side for these two are the same side all right so let's open the box up sorry so here is what it looks like in the box you have to play in right there this little case and then right here you have some information about this plane if you want to read it you can pause the video all right so hopefully if you want to read it you pause that video the video so yeah let's uh, open the box up and look at the plane all right so here is the uh, little case you could call it that it's held in it's just made out of plastic and the plane's in here so we'll take the plane out I don't know why but this wants to stay on so there we go I got it off so let's take the plane out and the plane is very it is pretty small because this is a one four hundred scale model, so it has to be measured up to like it can't be like the same size as the, one of the A three twenty models because then it's not real. So yeah, I have to zoom in on this one. Let's hope it focuses and you can get a good view of it. So yeah, uh, let's start off with uh, the wing and the propellers slash engines. So, the propellers, they do spin. Both sides propellers do spin. And let's see. 
uh, you have this white marks on the uh, tips of the propellers. And then you have the engine, then you have this the exhaust pipes. And then you also, right here, you have the uh, flap fairings right here, right here, right here, and right here. I'm trying to get to focus and I'm trying to get to zoom in at the same time. Come on, focus. All right, I kind of focused, and then, and then, has it doesn't have much design on the wings, but it's pretty small, uh, plane or size, so it's kind of hard. Now let's look at the uh, side of the plane. So, right here, we have the identification code November three six five PH. I don't know. I forgot what P is in H is, I just know N is November. And all planes that are registered American planes have N sitting so at their identification code. Fun fact. So yeah. And then we have right here the American flag. I'll try to get that to focus. Oh. There we go. I think it focused kind of. So we have the American flag right here. Tail the uh, United, or is that Continental? I think that's United, I don't know. So yeah, you have the, uh, whatever you, the logo right here. And then down here you have United Express. And then we have a little number right here. And then we have some design. And yeah, and then we have windows, door. And that is all for the right side. Left side looks the same. Same thing on that side. But the right side uh, does have the little cargo door right here. Right there. So yeah. I think that's all for the size that I over. And then uh the front you have uh the cockpit nose, windshield wipers wipers, and then the horizontal stabilizers. So yeah. Back of the plane it doesn't have much it doesn't have the APU exhaust pipe back there. Hit, but it's too small to put it under. Alright, so now let's look at the underside. Sorry if it's a little shaky. I'll try to hold it steady. Not much on the underside of the plane. It does have the uh, gear right here, right here, and right here. Then you have Gemini Jets logo. This is where if you want to put it on a stand, that's where you would put it. Not much. You also get a better view of the engine swings. Yeah. So I think that is all for this, sorry, this uh, small little plane that I can show you. Cause it's some of these, so yeah. So we will zoom. We'll kind of hold it right there. All right. So I'm gonna give what I think of this plane. It is a cool plane. It is uh, I I got it for like twenty eight dollars, twenty seven dollars off a website. So it was. It's a small plane. Here I'll I'll hold it in my palm. <laughs> zoom out that's how big it is it's about as big as my palm not that big so yeah it's not a very big plane but it is cool like if you just want to have a small plane and I think United retired this type of plane so this uh, the dash Q 200 yeah they retired it. I don't know why. You can go do research if you want to find out why. 
so yeah I, but another thing that's I just uh so I on a scale of one to five I'd rate this probably a four because it's a nice plane it's cool it is uh pretty small like if you want more bigger planes and I would go with the and you want to do one for hundred scale don't do this plane because this is a pretty small plane like it is small but as you like when I hold it in my palm and then it has for a small plane it has pretty good designs because it's pretty hard to it doesn't have any designs on the bottom like most uh, die cast planes but it's I understand why but uh, yeah so if you want bigger planes don't get this plane if you want if you don't mind a small plane and you're willing to spend money on it because it's $27 where I got it from you might find a better deal uh, so if you want like uh, United like if you want like this to be like sit on your desk I would probably get a bigger scale like if you wanted because like you uh, flew this plane or it's like your favorite plane uh, I would definitely get like maybe a 1 100 scale so it's actually you can see it better because putting this on my desk if I it'd be kind of hard to see so yeah if you want to put it on your desk get a bigger uh, scale definitely but yeah so uh, thanks for watching this video subscribe like and leave a comment below tell me if I did good and thanks for watching